Hey guys, welcome to TST Garage, I'm Bart, and in this episode we will be talking about hyperflash. Suppose you change your signals from the OEM incandescent lamp style to any LED type signal, including flush mounts, these Meg GTR signals, integrated tail light, you will get something called hyperflash. Your signaling system will be flashing much faster than the 85 cycle per minute rate trying to alert you that there's something off. And all you're really doing is just drawing a little bit less current from the system, so there shouldn't be anything wrong. One remedy is to wire in load balancing resistors. That's cumbersome, you have heated elements, you have to have one set up on each of the signals, or you just go about it the simple way, have a plug and play unit, just change the relay under the seat, really simple. Our Gen 2 LED flasher relay takes care of this problem in about two minutes, Take off this seat, this seat, replace the relay, and you're good to go. So let's perform that installation now. All right, so let's get the rear seat or cowl off the bike. And then we'll pull up on this lock, take off driver's seat. Now we have access to this compartment. This is your OEM relay. If you just push up on it, it'll come off its keeper here and pressing down on this tab will release it from the plug. We will save this rubber keeper. We'll get our new relay onto the keeper. This is the same sort of mounting situation. And that just plugs back in in the same way and gets seated here. And if you're okay with 85 cycles per minute, then we're good to go. Close up the bike and you're done. If you want to speed up or slow down the flash rate, you will need to strip off this gray cap. And then before you power up the bike, make sure that you don't contact any of these components to any grounding component or any of the battery posts. This will be your adjustment method here, this potentiometer, turning it one way versus the other, speeds it up, slows it down. So with a small screwdriver, we'll go in and turn the potentiometer counterclockwise to increase the flash rate all the way to the limit where it'll go very fast. And clockwise, we slow it down until we have almost a standstill, very, very slow. So you can back out somewhere in the middle, which will be where it's probably the most to your liking. After that, we'll grab the cap and there's a channel in there that will be the king for how the gray cap fits on. Close it all back up, it makes an audible snap noise, put it back on its keeper and you're good to go. We'll replace the seats. And now we just marvel at our proper flash rate. All right, with our flash rate restored to 85 cycles per minute or whatever you chose the flash rate to be, we are done. Really, really simple. As you can see, it takes about two minutes and really does the job well. If you'd like to pick up one of these, see tscindustries.com. See you there.